What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video, girl. So today we are going to be speaking on Krishan Rock and how this girl then disappeared into thin air and deleted her socials after Tamar Braxton came out and confirmed that she definitely assaulted James Wright. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's just go ahead and get into Tamar's live and let's talk about it, child. Me better, but um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened um, to him. And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, and and it was by Krishan, but um, there was a lot of events that. I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know um, the reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends and we put this all together for the fans. Um, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't, I don't need that. Like my circle is this small, you know, I, um, don't have to sell tickets for, you know, like, oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this. That other, this show has been sold out for a month. Um, I didn't have an opening act. I knew I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, and you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited, someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry, I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was. And the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity. And so that's really all it was. Um, I didn't call her and be like, oh, come on and perform on my show. Um, I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show. Um, she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. Um, and like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help, we want to help. And this is what this Love and War tour has been about. You know, I have called several girls that I didn't, I didn't know Drew Sedora. I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I, didn't, I don't know, um, I don't, I didn't know any of them really. The only person that I knew was Nivea, you know? Um, but I wanted this tour to be about, you know, second chances and, you know, giving new opportunities. And um, I don't know, um, I didn't call Krishan to open up for me. Um, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion, right? And I was like, oh, it'd be cool if you, if the DJ played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe, like the people, you know, Baltimore sisters. And that's really what I was thinking. Um, everyone else get compensated for coming on my show and opening up for me. I try to always do, this, do the right thing um, by people. Um, and there's a contract. Um, we're professional. I'm a real touring company. Um, and that wasn't the case. Um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. During the part of the twerk off, um, I am backstage changing clothes. Um, and everybody that's come to a Tay Martian show know that we don't 
have any violence. No one has ever fought at my concerts. We laugh, we cry. People have passed out, you know, due to, you know, being, you know, inebriated or, you know, just excited at being at a concert. But this is a, a, a sex in the of it. Um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect. So, chow, it is a hot mess. So I have some things to say about this before because I'm going to play what James Wright had to say. Carlissa came into it. Tommy Lee from Baddies West and Love and Hip Hop came into it. Girl, a lot of people had a lot of things to say. Y'all know these the girls is going to chime in for clout. One thing the girls is going to do is chime in for some clout, especially when it has something to do with Krishan, okay? So this is my thing, okay? And I'm don't get me wrong now, okay? I hold Krishan accountable because Krishan is just Krishan is just trash, okay? She is garbage. She acts like garbage. She acts like she was raised in uh, with the pack of wolves. The girl just needs therapy and she needs some anger management, okay? Hopefully they do press charges just so she can be held accountable. You know what I'm saying? Light a little fire up under her ass so she can learn her lesson because if not, she's going to continue to do stuff like this. So my thing is with Tamar is Baby, from the sounds of it, you told her to that a twerk off and she was gonna play her song on stage. But oh, chap, we all know that Krishan is unhinged. Why is she on stage with you in the first place? Like, if you're gonna invite her to your show, invite her to your show, but don't say, Oh, you don't have a performance, but then in the same sentence, be like, Oh, well, we're gonna play it's a vibe all the time, and you're gonna come out and you're gonna twerk, and the crowd's gonna that baby, that sounds like a performance to me. What? So she kind of sounded torn because it kind of sounded like she low-key but high key didn't want to defend her team, but then she was torn because she because she has sympathy for, for, for Krishan. And then can y'all celebrities please stop this big sister, little sister shit, please? Chow, hang it up. Hang it up. There are so many black women and black girls in the limelight that are probably rough around the edges or that probably needs, you know, a stepping stone or a big sister or something like that. That could help them. But you guys continue to still kiss up to Krishan for what? When you guys know how she is, you knew who the girl you said it in the video. You knew who Krishan was before you invited her to your show. She shouldn't even have been there. She should not have been there. Tamar, you're like 24 years older than Krishan. What you really don't even have no business with her. Like, I just don't understand this whole thing. Like, oh, I didn't tell her that she could perform with me, but in the same sentence, um, yeah, we're gonna play your song on stage in front of my crowd and you can dance. And girl, that's called a performance. You know what I'm saying? It's just weird, okay? It's weird. It kind of sounds like it was kind of calculated. I don't want to say that, but it just sounds like that. But at the same time, Krishan is just, like I said, just garbage chow. And she needs to be held accountable. And she needs to stop putting her hands on people. Because even if they low-key but high-key played your ass, okay, and they told you you were going to perform, and then they switched up once you got there, that is no reason to hit somebody, chip their tooth, and send them to the hospital. What? You're unhinged. You need help, baby. You need help. You just cannot go around hitting people. Like, what? Child, pack of wolves, girl. Like I said, I just don't understand, like, Krishan's reasoning. Like, you cannot go around putting your hands on people. What is wrong with you? I don't get it, baby. I don't understand. I really don't get it. I don't understand her rationality. And then it's like she has these little kid ass fans that stick up for her and never hold her accountable. Do, do y'all realize that you guys are doing nothing but adding fuel to the fire? You guys are going to boost that girl's head up to the point where she goes to jail or she gets hurt one day. And y'all don't even realize it. Y'all think y'all just being loyal fans? No, you guys are dick eaters. And you guys are going to be her, y'all going to be her ultimate demise. I'm trying to tell y'all. It's not looking good for her right now. It's not. It is not looking good for her, Chow, okay? It is just not looking good. Chow, so Tommy Lee came into the mix and let's see what she had to say. So she said, I just wonder, would this what? I just wonder, would this one not all 
this rest, but if she wasn't there, would this one have been this viral? Remember the question when you respond. What? I just wonder, would this one, not all this rest, but if she was <laughs> I think she's trying to say, if Krishan was there, would your concert still go viral? I feel like that's what she's trying to say. Trying, basically trying to insinuate that, um, I feel like she's trying to insinuate that without Krishan, her concert would have been dead and there wouldn't have been no cloud around it. Chow, so listen to the comment. So the comment says, yes, it would have. She had an icon, her sister, Tony Braxton, there. <laughs> Someone said what she said. I reread it a couple times, a brain hurting. Girl, like, girl, what, what are you trying to say? What does this have to do with her putting her hands on people? That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all make this about a clout thing. And I understand the way it looks, it looks like Tamar really low-key but high-key tried to use her for clout, but I don't even want to say that because one, I feel like Tamar is an icon within herself, and then her sister was there, Tony Braxton. Y'all got to get with it, baby, okay? So I don't even want to say that, but it's obvious that Tamar had her own child. She say, oh, I want to take her under my wing. I want to treat her like a little sister. I'm her big sister. You know what I'm saying? I want to show her the ropes, this, that, and the third, but it's child. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but either way, that does not give her the right to put her hands on somebody, especially somebody who the hit wasn't even supposed to be for. You know what I'm saying? Like Tamar said, Tamar literally said in her life, I wish Krishan would have hit me. Baby, you hit the wrong person. I don't know. But even if but even if it was the right person or whatever, the person who deceived you, why are you going around just putting your hands on people, especially at someone else's event? Girl, you're insane. Nothing, I don't care what nobody says, nothing, unless she felt threatened or somebody threatened her or somebody got in her face and she felt threatened, you know what I'm saying? Then you defend yourself, but you're just going around hitting people at public events. Girl, what is wrong with you? Girl, what? Oh, girl, you done traumatized Tamar and her whole entire team. But Tamar also had to take responsibility, like I said in my last video, because why was Krishan even there? Why was she there? Take responsibility. Ciao. So Blueface's mom also came into the group chat. Let's see what she had to say. Because I love the Braxtons and I respect them. The baby, she said she wished she would have hit her and Girl, no, you nothing. Now, this is no disrespect because I love the Braxtons and I respect Carlissa. Also, said bull ish, she beat up her man's mama. Don't play dumb now. You knew that baby needed help when you brought her there. Your security should be responsible for bringing her there, knowing she's worse than wh when she started. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. She's getting a Power Ranger pass. If you want to have her to help your following, you need the proper security or wait until she is healed. Respectfully, the mama. I completely understand. I completely understand. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. That's the truth, though. You know, at the end of the day, before you invited Krishan there, you knew who she was. We all know what she's known for. She's only known for a couple things. She's known for playing victim. She's known by getting, uh, for getting dogged out by Blueface. And she's known for fighting and being problematic and being a bully. You know what I'm saying? Nothing positive. So, girl, don't play victim now. Child. So Tamar responded and she said, I've never met none of these people. Please leave me alone. I'm only, I'm only here because my brother James got hit in the face for being nice to a guest. He left with a chipped tooth, gun damage, and a busted nose and a concussion. However, I still pray for those who need help. I come in love. God bless everyone. Girl, Tamar is not taking any type of responsibility. Again, like I said, Krishan really should not be going around hitting people. It really just shows the type of person that she is. But we all knew the type of person that she was. Like I said, literally when Krishan was pregnant, she was at the Baddies West auditions, not auditions, but the premiere, literally pregnant and she hit somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this big sister, little sister thing is weird. All the celebrities do it with Krishan. They call to her. They, 
<laughs> child, I just don't know. All of them, all of them do it. And then y'all invite her to y'all events and then wonder why or wonder when she, <laughs> child. Anyways. Girl, James responded. I just want y'all to stop thinking that everybody's lying. Um, this just happened to me, and everybody keep asking what's the reason. This happened to me for no reason. <clears throat> I was attacked for no reason, and they keep telling me don't get on live, but no, like all the assumptions and how people feel. And what people think they know, I am at the end right now. I have to get my teeth fixed. My teeth have to be fixed, and that's what's happening right now. So don't get online saying what didn't happen, it didn't happen. And no, I'm not going to show my face. My face is beat. If you guys see my face, you can be pissed off. My face is it's toe up so right now i have to get teeth fixed that someone damaged i'm not going to show my face but i will show that i'm at the dentist right now right now getting my teeth fixed the anger of the anger or whatever the issue was wasn't towards me so that's why i'm saying i was attacked for no reason. Yes, I know I don't owe anyone anything, but enough with the blaming everybody else but the person that did this. I'm out of the hospital. Now I'm at the dentist, um, Nikki. I have to get teeth fixed. My teeth are jacked up. They're saying, oh, nothing happened, nothing happened. Oh, he's a clout chaser. I don't need nobody's clout, and I don't want clout from a negative, a negative source. I don't do negative and negative is not on my page. I don't know why me, but I'm gonna tell y'all this before I get off of here. Cause ugh, I'm getting emotional. But I asked God, I said, why did this happen to me? And God said, it wasn't about you. He said, but I had to use you. He said, I had to, Jesus, he said, I had to use you. And when he said, I had to use you, all I could do was think of the story of Job. And I began to praise God in the midst of what was going on. I just want y'all to stop thinking that everybody. Ciao. So like I said, a hot ass mess. Krishan needs to go to jail. Like, I'm sorry. And because I don't want to wish nothing on anybody that is, I don't want to wish anything on anybody that's negative, but it's like she has gotten away with this way too many times, okay? Way too many times. It's like, at what point are you going to learn your lesson? At what point are you going to take responsibility as a 23-year-old woman? And I don't care about age. Baby, like I said, I am 23. I do not go around hitting everybody that pisses me off in the slightest. That is actually insane. Why do you act like that? And I understand in all childhood trauma, you need to go to therapy. You need to seek help, seek help, seek help. I, I just don't understand. Stop going around, going in public, going to these events when you're not fully healed. Focus on yourself, seek help and, and pop out and be that and be that girl. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants you to win. We all want you to win. At the end of the day, yes, I may talk my ish about Krishan, but I want Krishan to win, especially from the background that she comes from, what she's been through. You know what I'm saying? Her come up or whatever. I want her to win, but she's literally, it's like, you don't even give a, you don't even care about your kid. Like you have a kid at some point when you become a parent, you have to be like, you have to make a conscious decision to be like, you know what, if I do this, this is this is how this is going to affect my son in the long run. If you don't care about yourself, do it for your kid. Krishan is just a mess. She is trash. She, she She's just trash, okay? That's really what it is. And I honestly don't care about what her Delulu ass fans got to say. Girl, you guys are enabling her more than anything. And you guys are going to be her ultimate demise. Like I said, like I said, if you guys were real fans, if you guys really gave a damn about Krishan, you guys will be encouraging her 
to get help, not encouraging her to go around hitting people and assaulting people. Because you guys are probably the ones who really be pumping her head up, making her think that the way she acts is okay. It's not okay. It is the real world. You cannot go around doing ish like that. But that's all I have to say. It's Messy Maya. I'm out this hoe. Bye.